to pass in the kilometer. Now they've got not only the points, they've got a Madison too. The final event on the program. The Kieran. An event very famous, very popular, much supported in Japan. Where eight riders start behind the lead-off bike. And that's down there. Going round very quietly because on this occasion, for the first time, it was not a journey. In Europe we have a little motorbike leading the riders out. Don't want to make a lot of noise. But on this occasion, using electric assisted bicycle, the pressure goes on the pedals. The first of the few laps have to be reeled off the standard speed. Around about 15 kilometers an hour. Then they push the speed up. The lead off rider has to stay behind the bike in front. But there he is, pedaling carefully, looking down at his computer, maintaining the speed. The second man behind him, who leads the string, has to be behind him. That's the Japanese rider, Uta. Very used to Kieran riding is big in Japan. They've got 5,000 Kirin riders. On bigger tracks than this is a 250 meter track. They ride over something like 400 meters. Much flatter tracks. The betting ensures a lot of money at stake. Lost time there for America in second spot. You're disappointed to be knocked out of the sprint series early on in the week. He was a Kirin champion in 1996 in Manchester and in 1994 in Palermo. Already we'd had disqualifications in the previous rounds. The judges watching very carefully because with eight bars on the track, the docking and diving, the pushing and shoving must be seen to be believed. Martin Ostein, America, back in second spot behind Ota of Japan, who leads. Watching Martin Ostein, Jens Fiedler. In the black, Anthony Payden for New Zealand. And the French rider, towards the back there, lying last, Frédéric Manny. He's a great expert at this. He was a world champion in 1995 and again in 1997. We've not seen much of him in the world championship so far. He just come here totally for the killing. Lying at the back, just in front of him, the Italian rider, Roberto Chiappa, one-time junior sprint champion of the world. All these chaps have tremendous experience and they have to have Enormous guts and courage, determination. They start weaving over the track and Manny starts coming from behind. On the front then, the runner, Nostein from America, opens it up as uh, over the top then comes Manny. Nostein looks up, sees him coming past him, and then Fiedler drops in behind. So Manny, Nostein, Fiedler, Payton, one lap to go. Nostein looks back, he's got this one stitched up. He thinks that probably manny has gone too soon. He can come past him too as Fiedler looks for a place to go. And Nostein then, in second spot behind Manny as Fila comes over the top, Payton starts to make his way through and whoops, and suddenly a quick flick from uh, uh, Nostein, but on the line then, looks like Fila got that one. A tremendous performance by Fila, considering he got flicked by Nostein coming down the finishing straight. As I saw the over line in first spot was Jens Fila. Looked like Nostein got second spot. Anthony Payton back there in third, Manny back into fourth spot. But the crowd in Berlin going absolutely wild. The final event on the program had gone to the German Jens Fila. Brushed his bike forward, got the victory. Ninety-eight, disappointed by his sprinting performances earlier on. Now coming good, but there you can see how Nostein moved off his line, made life difficult for Fila. Fila still came past on the lunge for the line and just got it from Nostein and Payton. To six spot. So into second place, Anthony Payden from New Zealand there on the left in the black jersey. The right hand side. Remarkable season by Anna Will.